So I'm here, I um, just want to explain a few things um, for uh, setting up queues and working with executors. Uh, I've got a, a basic show here, fixtures into my 3D. This is basically what's running, so it's very basic. There's not a lot going on, uh, but it's the, as you can see, it's the steps set up with just these kinds of things happening. So I just want to go through, firstly, um, how you can store um, a queue from a preset um, on an executor. So let's just do that. So I'm looking here, I've got uh, some color information and I'm just going to set uh, that up so we can have a look at that. So over here in, well, sorry, back there in fixtures, make sure everything's selected. In color, set up a color. Green, all the fixtures are working. Go to preset, store. All green. Okay. I might fix that label. Label. That's better. So by pressing the label button and then clicking on something, you can relabel it. Uh, that works for lots of different things. All right. As you can see, I've got programmer functions here. I've got my all green here, and uh, we're ready to go. So let's have a look at how the output's looking. Okay. All green. What I'm going to do now is make another uh, preset. So I'm going to go here, do purple. Oh, sorry, not. Yeah, why not magenta? And I'm going to go store. All magenta. Because we've got all the fixtures selected, you can see there's a little couple of little things in there that are just showing that that's working on both both fixtures, and that's cool. Ready to go. Um, what I want to create is a queue where I can just trigger through these color settings, uh, and so that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to click down here in Store, and in here I'm going to go to the Grid View, and as you can see here from the red, this is the settings that will be stored. Uh, when I when I do the next thing, whatever is the next thing. So at the moment you can see it's all color settings and there's nothing else going on there, and that's great. That's what I'm looking for. So now that I press store, I'm going to click over here on a any of these buttons, and I'll explain why uh, I'm going to use this this uh, row, and I'm just going to call that um, uh, colors. And in there we've got our color list with a Q in it called colors. Uh, let's try re-labeling that. Uh, I might call this one uh, greens. I think it was. Was it purples? Uh, let's check. Aha, magenta. Now I'm going to go to another preset. So click back on on uh, colors, close this, and we've got all green. So just going to click the green one, check. Yeah, that's great. Now I'm going to press store and I'm going to stick it back in here. Store here. And when I have an option, I'm going to say create second queue. And this one I'm going to call greens. Now if I click on here. Let's have a look. We've got we've got greens, ah, colors. Well, we know that's magenta. And what we should be able to do now is by clicking on this, toggle ah, different mode. So this particular mode is called toggle, and it turns on a queue on and off. What I'm looking for is a go function. By default, this one's come in as toggle, so I want to change it. So what it's doing is it's setting the fixtures to the selected fixtures to um, the colors uh, over and over and then turning them off again. So turning that queue off. So I'm going to click on this and over here where it says toggle, change it to go. Let's escape. And you see the button types changed here. Now I can go greens and colors, greens and colors. I can see that my program is changing. But let's see if the lights are changing. Purple. Green. Great. So that's pretty groovy. 
Now, if I wanted to set up a color chase now, I could. Let's have a look at that. This is going a bit outside what I planned, but let's give it a shot. Here's Chaser. And Master Speed. Let's just choose a Master Speed. Press Escape. Press Go. And you can see it's cycling through. And if I go over here, pretty cool. And um, if I want to change the speed of that, I go to the magic button here. And it's running off this one here. Now, if I make this one faster, you can see that's cycling a lot faster. And I've got a different effect. Cool. Now, that's you could go on building more and more cues of more and more colors, um, which will allow you to um, go right through all of the uh, uh, different kinds of colors, that, color effects you might want to look for. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go back into this, turn off the is chaser. And so we're just left with this simple cue. Now that will work for color effects. So you could have that effect running within one of these cues, um, as, as you know how to do, um, as well as um, movements and things like that. So just thought I'd show you that. So that's how you make a cue. If you want to delete a cue, all you have to do is press the delete button and then hit the uh, cue here. It should. Yep, deleting the executor will change stage output. The reason for that is this is showing what, what the output of a queue. If I want to do that, it will be deleted, and that's okay um, if that's what I want. But for now, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to press cancel, and we're, we're cool. So that's how you create a queue.